Hey, it's Just So Trish, and today I'm going to talk to you about Saxon Math. Here we go. Okay, so Saxon Math, you may love it, you may hate it if you've, if you've used it, you may know nothing about it. I found out about Saxon Math through the Robinson curriculum. I like it. I really actually like it. And I'll tell you all about it. So the big part about it is you can find, and I'll link it up here, the video, this, there's a 60 minute segment about um, Mr. Saxon. And his big thing was he had failed calculus like three times. He was an air, he was a fighter jet pilot. Took me a minute there. He was a fighter jet pilot. He felt like math was not written in a common sense form. <clears throat> and so he took to writing a math book. Please don't get this misconstrued with the current Saxon math books. Those are not written by Saxon. Those are just written by Hake. But the originals are by Saxon. And they're usually first or second edition. Okay. So he did them incrementally and he just began review, review, review. So this is a spiral math. No glitziness whatsoever. It is, there's your lesson. Here's some examples. Here's your problem. Old school textbook. Old school textbook. If you watch the 60 Minutes, he will talk about, um, he actually started donating these to failing schools. He's donated the um, textbooks to failing schools and minority is, you know, the whole minority failing schools and started bringing all these kids up to an equal level in math. He goes all the way up into calculus and I have a good part of the books. So you would want this and you'd want the teachers or homeschool packet. I don't know if I have one right here to show you. You'd want the homeschool packet and you can even get the um, test pack test packet. But I don't always do a test if you, re if you feel like you want to do the test. Um, you can find them on eBay. I, you know, they're not in print in this way anymore. I've had success finding them on eBay. I also have had success looking on Amazon for them and looking under the used section where you'd look this up and they'd be like, oh, there's like 64 in used. So I bought a lot through the like Goodwills on Amazon. Doing that, I've bought them for like under 20 bucks, both packets. This is a great book. Um, I'm going to start linking a link to Kathy Duffy's reviews for this curriculum. Um, it works out really good. Some of the problems we run into is it can, can get dry. It can get a little dry. Um, Saxon never meant to have it done as an independent study. He always meant to have a teacher teach it. Um, if you go and you listen to Art Robinson, and he's on YouTube. Well, people have videoed and put him on YouTube. Um, he'll talk that this is written in such a way they can use it independently. But you don't have to do it that way. You can actually get, there's a program called Dive Into Math. And there is a DVD package that goes with every book that you can get a Blackboard lesson. So you can pair that up with this. I don't have one here at the moment to show you what it looks like. But um, this is Saxon Math. It's completely reusable for 20 bucks. It gets you where you need to be. You know, it really will give you complete college bound ready math. So I do like this. Um, see, I have another one. And they can be in pretty poor condition. You can get some pretty beat up ones, but still they're good. So you can actually build your entire... Now this doesn't start. This is the small... It starts at third grade. I do need to tell you that. It starts at third grade, goes up to 12th. And I believe if you look into the dive into math, they will do some CLEP DVDs that once you're done with your Saxon math, you can go and try and CLEP out of your credit hours. Clepping means you test it into your credit hours for college. So um, it starts approximately fourth grade. So five, four, and the numbering works like this. Five, four means it's an average fifth grader, a, an advanced fourth grader is how it works. So average sixth, 
advanced fifth. Um, personally experiencing with these books, I tutored um, a high school seniorish child who could not. I did the placement exam for this. She could not even get through a 5-4. She could not do basic math. Over the course of three months, she only, only did. I mean, now, she had it there, so it wasn't like she was a young kid. She only did the practice. Because how these are set up is this practice covers the lesson. These problem sets cover the um, content you've already learned. So that's the spiral part. What she did was she would read the lesson, do the practice, and every fifth lesson she did all of the problem sets. She worked through 5-4, she worked through 6-5, and essentially over a summer taught herself um, basic math, went back into the school year, going in as a senior, and was actually at level for the classes she was taking. Now, she was not taking intense um, math classes, but she was at level for the first time and she had the capability of doing basic division doing It was incredible and she was able to teach herself and she was moving through it. So it worked really good um, These do have tests like every 20 so about every four weeks worth so every 20 lessons these have um, a test that goes with it and on the test you could actually use it to see if, you know, if you like place and you're like, I know some of this, I would use the test to place up out and above or just go through and read the lessons and skip them. But I really like these. Um, they're always a cornerstone to my curriculum, whether we're using them or not. Sometimes we have to take a break because of the spiral approach and I have children who need to master. So now that I've been interrupted, I better go. I hope this helps. See you later.